I'm here at the old courthouse in Hendersonville and uh, with two of my favorite mountain authors, Robert Morgan and Charles Frazier. And we've been talking a little bit about uh, editing. I was really taken with some of your discussion, Robert Morgan, uh, about your relationship with your longtime editor, Shannon Ravenel at Algonquin. How, how does a good editor make your work better and what are some of the problems you sometimes encounter with it? Well, editors are very important, uh, and uh, sometimes we resist their ideas, but, but that negotiation between the writer and the editor, I think, can be very productive. Shannon is a wonderful editor. Uh, she can do all, all the traditional things like editing for speed, narrative economy, getting things in the right sequence, uh, telling you where it needs to be, expanded a little bit perhaps, or a part you can take out. But the single thing I, I, would, I would stress about Shannon's editing is her enthusiasm for good writing. She, she cares so much about good writing that you want to work harder, you want to work with her, and, you, and she inspires you to, to be better, to try to be better. Uh, the relationship with an editor, I think, uh, keeps us humble to some extent. I like the idea of, of, of teamwork. Uh, T.S. Eliot, for instance, loved the idea of the Elizabethan playwrights who would work together to write a play. And he, of course, he, he himself as a poet worked with his wife, his first wife, and Ezra Pound in revising his poems. But against the romantic idea of the author as solitary prophet or something, the idea of the author as being part of a team, wow. and, and that editor is, is a very important part of the team. I've been very lucky. I've had, had four good fiction editors. I have uh, Chuck Adams now uh, as an editor, and I've always enjoyed working with him. I don't always agree with him, but we negotiate. So uh, writing uh, in that respect is sometimes a team sport? It is indeed, I think. Have you, uh, Charles Frazier, have you found that to be the case? Yeah, when it's working well, it, it, uh, it, it is so helpful to have a careful reader helping you find the problems, helping you improve the good parts. Just, it's, uh, um, it's such a, a, an important part of the process of writing. It's one of the things that, that um, all the talk of um, you know, new technology and self-publishing and all that, the role, of, the role of a good editor cannot be replicated. Um, uh, by yourself. Well, can you think of a time when an editor has, a uh, good editor has helped you change a direction that you thought was good but has maybe persuaded to make some changes or? Oh, uh, yeah, a, a, lot of, a lot of examples. Uh, the, you, you mentioned, uh, Robert, the, the uh, issue of sort of pacing and narrative speed and uh, I, sometimes I don't, uh, you know, you, you work over a piece over and over and over and it's easy to lose track of that, and uh, and there were many places in Cold Mountain where um, where it would be sort of like, let's get on with this here. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, the editor would say yeah, you've too, you've say, written too much, or yeah, you? yeah, would say, let let's see if we can make this scene a little shorter. You know, <laughs> let's let's just let's just get twenty percent, fifteen percent out of here, and it was would be better when it uh, when it was shorter. Well, I appreciate y'all sharing this. Before we before we start, or before we stop, um, I want to find out what each of you is working on. Robert Morgan, you've got a, a you, you, you're finished with chasing the North Star. Have you got something else in mind? I'm working on a sequel to Lions of the West, a nonfiction book, uh, tentatively titled Women of the West. Uh, Nancy Ward, last War Woman of the Cherokees, Rebecca Boone, uh, Narcissa Whitman, Tamsin Donner. Uh, so I, I'm back in research on history and uh, learning a lot. It's From a novelist to historian again, and, and, and poet. That's all narrative. <laughs> Charles Reister, how about you? Uh, I've, I'm uh, well into a book based on the life of Verena Davis, Jefferson Davis's second wife, a really interesting woman. I find her as interesting as I find him boring. <laughs> it doesn't have much to do with the Civil War. It's, uh, it's about her life. Uh, so I'm, I'm having a good time with it. Well, thanks to both of you for all that you do for people all over the world, but mainly for the, what you've done for us here in North Carolina. We're mighty, mighty proud of both of you. Thank you.